Hello, or welcome or welcome back to Budget with Mads. Um, so this is going to be another, um, I call it weekly cash stuffing, although um, it is, I do it four times a month, so it's normally a week and a day or a week and a couple of days. Anyway, um, if you've seen the previous couple of videos, you'll know that I'm actually behind on filming these, but I didn't want to not film them and put them out for you, so I'm filming them kind of backlogged. Um, and not in present time if that makes sense so this cash stuffing is going to be what i set aside and what i stuffed for um the 25th of march to the 1st of april because i get paid on the 8th um so that's why it doesn't just go from start of the month to end of the month this is the third out of my paycheck um the third stuffing out of the four stuffings of my paycheck um, and yeah, this goes from the 25th of March to the 1st of April. So, for those few days, um, I had £60 to stuff, so 20 40 50 60 And as always, I will be um, going through all of my envelopes, even though not all of them will be getting stuffed because I am on a low income. Um, but I will go through all of them and just show you what's inside and if there's any updates and things like that, just like I always do. So, the first envelope, as I said in the last couple of videos as well, my spending money, is going to remain empty while I play catch up on these stuffings because my second income, which is my casino job, does actually fund the money for my spending money and I have been paid that again since. So after I've filmed these few videos catching up and posted those, you'll see a um, new second job or casino cash stuffing, which is normally a lot more money. It's normally about 300 something, so it's much more exciting to watch. Um, and you will see me stuff this envelope finally. <laughs> but for now, um, that is empty as it will be in the next video as well because I'm filming that right after this one. <laughs> um, again, uh, as I said in the last video, apologies if my voice sounds a bit funny or if I go a bit out of breath, I have actually got COVID again for the second time, so please bear with me. So my back to bank envelope has 30 pounds that just needs to go back into the bank from where I've bought stuff just on my card. Cats are getting 10 pounds for this week. Um, let me just see how much we've got in there, adding that in. So after adding in that £10, Cats now has 20, 40, 50, 65. And that's to buy their cat food, cat litter, treats, um, just any toys, anything like that. Anything that they might need and then any extra um, God forbid, could be used for an insurance claim because I've had to take them to the vets quite a few times in, in their short little lives. Um, but they're, they're perfectly fine now, which is great. Um, my home savings, unfortunately, is not getting anything and probably won't in the next video either. But at the moment, we've got £670. Some of that's in the bank, some of that's in my money tin. Um, so 670, 690, 710, 730, 740, 750. So 750 pounds total um, from the start of the year. For some reason this placeholder, I'm gonna have to trim it down because it's pretty much the only one that gives me trouble. Sometimes they're a bit fiddly, don't get me wrong, but I think I'll have to sort that one out. Emergency fund isn't getting anything either, are we surprised? So it currently has a £500 placeholder in the bank, £180 in the bank as well, and a £10 note. But I may have to dip into this one, as I said in my last video as well, um, because I have been off with COVID and I am off with COVID, I'm losing money from my second income and also my primary income. So I'll probably be needing to dip into that, but it's fine. That's what it's there for. Gifts and Christmas is not getting anything, but it has £10. Flat is not getting anything, but that also has £10. I should probably start putting... Um, 
back away for this don't get me started on gifts and Christmas I know I need to be putting away way more for that but um, I do need to start putting away for flat again because I just haven't been prioritising it I'm not really too sure why um, but there's still a few bits that I need for my flat so I've got to get back in the swing of that envelope but today is not the day <laughs> it's not the video um, clothes isn't getting anything no, that's a lie, it is. Um, it's getting £10, which is exciting. So, clothes now has £20. And I'm saving up for a lakeside trip because I do want some new summer clothes. I don't buy a lot of clothes. I just, I don't know. I always, it's been about a year since I've bought clothes, I want to say. Um, but I'm also the type of person that can't get rid of clothes, so it's really annoying. Like, I need to make room for the new clothes that I want to buy, but I just can't get rid of clothes. I don't know what it is. Please tell me if anyone else <laughs> struggles with the same problem, because it's getting an issue. I'm running out of space, but I also feel like I have no clothes that I can wear. Oh, such, such first world problems, I know. Um, but yeah, so 20 in clothes now. Food shop, as always, gets 20 every week. And there's never any left over because £20 for a week's worth of shopping for me actually does work, but I do spend it all. <laughs> like, I don't think I'll ever go under. Petrol doesn't have, uh, isn't getting anything, sorry. And it has £10 in it. Which, with the petrol prices going through the roof, is not a lot at all. So I need to um, focus on that one again as well. Got about half a tank, I think, at the moment. So, car maintenance slash insurance. My car insurance is coming up in a month. So, I currently have 150, 160. This is in the bank, this 150. Um, and it is actually getting the last 20. So, it now has 150, 170, 180. And the goal is around between 300 and 350. I'm not too sure what it's going to be. I can start getting quotes next week, I think. Oh, look, now that placeholder's giving me ag. Oh, anyway. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, we've run out of money, but I'll still just quickly um, go through the last ones. So, Holidays has a £500 placeholder. Now, that's for mini trips, local trips and stuff like that. This £10 does actually need to be separate. I need to make a separate envelope called Disney Fund because me and my cousin are going to Disneyland in about a year. I do have 1,150 in the bank already saved for that Disney trip. And then this £10 is also going specifically to Disney. So I need to make a separate envelope and put that in. So technically I've got 1160 for Disney and then 500 for holidays. But because I haven't made the envelope yet, um, I've just kind of whacked that in here to kind of remind me where it goes. I hope any of that made sense. <laughs> Dentist, uh, goal is about 150 um, but I just haven't been focusing on this at all yet. Um, again, I've just kind of stopped focusing on this one. I'm not too sure why, but I need to sort it out. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, and then beauty is the last. No, it's not the last one. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um has 15 pounds in it at the moment and then last one is electronics um has nothing in it um, and i did say i might make that envelope redundant i'm not too sure maybe i'll bring it back when i know specifically what to save for but at the moment i don't have anything in mind um that I need to say for electronic wise so that might become redundant for now and I might bring it back but for now I guess I'll just leave mm. now I'll take it out for now because I know for a fact the next couple of videos it's not getting stuffed anyway so I'll take that out we might see it again um, at a later date but for now I don't think we really need it 
Um, but yeah, so that's it for my cash stuffing between the dates. I've already forgotten what they are. Between the 25th of March and the 1st of April. It's currently, I think, the 6th of April as I'm filming this. So that's how bad I'm doing. So I'm filming the next video after that. And then it will be my second income video and then I'll be up to date. <laughs> um, but hopefully I won't let things slide like this again. But thank you for bearing with me and hope you did enjoy this video. Um, if you did, please feel free to subscribe and thank you very much for watching. Bye.